Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here from Hashtag Sports. I'm about to give you four major changes to how Brandon Bean's going to manage his roster this season, and I hope you guys are ex excited about him as I am. All right, so four major changes to the roster management of 2020. Now, I know this isn't the most exciting topic to talk about, but I will be honest with you, the Bills are going to be able to hold on to players that in previous seasons, they would have to cut for a variety of different reasons. I'm going to highlight those for you. So we're going to talk about the four major, I mean major changes to how rosters are going to be managed in 2020 that is going to positively impact the Bills. And the Bills are going to be able to hold on to some players that they haven't been able to before. So the very first one, and I think this one's kind of underplayed a little bit. The injured reserve, the designated to return spot. Um, so before, it, we'll just use C.J. Spiller as an example because the Bills did it with Spiller a long time ago. Spiller ended up getting hurt. Uh, he missed a, a chunk of time. The rules at the time stated you had to miss at least eight weeks. Once you missed eight weeks, you could come back from injured reserve. And this was kind of new. Uh, before, if you were put on injured reserve, that was the end of your season. But the NFL and the CBA agreed that if a player goes on injured reserve, there were a couple times where you were able to bring a player back just as long as they missed eight weeks. That rule's gone for 2020. And here's how it changed. So, effective September 6th, you could put on a player on injured reserve and bring him back after missing three weeks. That's it. Three weeks. You can do that an unlimited number of times. So whereas before, let's say a player got a high ankle sprain, right? And it looked like they were going to miss about four weeks. That player had to stay on the 53-man roster and kind of suck up a roster spot, even though you knew they weren't going to play. They weren't going to be healthy. Uh, you couldn't put him on injured reserve because maybe it's a key player and you and you don't want to have to wait eight weeks for them to go through the injured reserve process and then be eligible to come back. Now, you don't have to worry about it. If you have a guy with a shoulder issue and you're like, ah, it's going to be three, four weeks, put him on injured reserve. You get that roster spot back because while he's on injured reserve, you get to fill that roster spot on the 53-man roster, get a player in there to be effective for you, right? And after the three weeks is up, you can bring the player back. And you could do that an absolutely unlimited number of time to an unlimited number of players, which is madness to me. So that means if a player is even just a little dinged up with something that's going to be a couple weeks, put them on injured reserve. Get that roster spot back because that's going to positively impact Bill's roster management. Because now before where you may have had players who were dinged up that were sucking up roster spots, dealing with sort of nagging injuries. Now with the way the rules are, Put that player on injured reserve. Give them the opportunity to heal. You get that roster spot back, and you can bring that player back an unlimited number of times uh, throughout the course of the 2020 season. The next piece, number two, practice squad. Not normally the most exciting thing. Stick with me. So practice squad has been expanded to 16 players from 10. That's a big deal. Um, and now I know practice squad, a lot of times people just say that practice squad is kind of where players go to live in purgatory until their career ends. And that's not necessarily true. Practice squads are actually built for young players to help develop them. And I, w I love the opportunity for the Bills to develop talent. So the more players you can add to the denominator of that, sign me up. Going from 10 practice squad spots to 16 practice squad spots, that's a really big deal. And that leads us in to point number three. You can have... The last six, those six additional roster spots can be players of any status. So any veteran player can now be placed on the practice squad. Uh, now, there's a limited number of those spots. But before, if you had three accrued seasons or more, the practice squad was out. You either were making an NFL team or you were getting cut. That was it. Now, for this season, with those 16 practice squad spots, six of them can be of players of three seasons or to an unlimited number of seasons. That's right. If you want to cut Trent Murphy and put him on your practice squad, if he doesn't get an offer from any NFL team, you can do that now because the practice squad spots have no limitation on the number of years that a player can accrue to be eligible. And that's kind of how practice squads worked. Accrued seasons were king. And that's how you judged a player's practice squad eligibility. And for the majority of the practice squad spots, that's still how it is. However, with these additional six spots, if you have three or more accrued seasons, 
to an unlimited number of accrued seasons, you could still be signed to a practice squad. And that's a big deal. That means that you could take a player who otherwise wouldn't have made your roster, and if he's not going to get signed by anybody else, you can place him on your practice squad, which he would just been a, a street free agent before. Now he's in your building, he's learning your playbook, he's moving forward with your organization, and he's available to you if you need him down the road. Which leads me to bullet point number four. This is where it gets crazy. So, we've just talked about expanded practice squad spots. We've just talked that six of those spots can be veteran players, which they never could be before. The Bills will actually get the opportunity to protect four of those players. And here's what that means. When a player's on a practice squad, they can sign with any NFL team at any time. That's it. They're, even though you're on your team, they can be signed by any other team to their 53-man roster. Well, every week, the Bills will now be able to protect four players from being able to be signed from other teams. They can block four players and protect them and keep them on their practice squad so other teams cannot sign them. That's a big deal. Not only that, but the practice squad rules have changed for bringing players to the game day roster. Usually what would happen is a player, if they're brought to the game day roster, you have to guarantee them three game checks, and then if you don't want them on your 53-man roster anymore, you have to waive them. And what waivers means is um, you tell the rest of the league that you've cut this player. They, any other team can pick him up in the next you know, 24 to 48 hours, uh, and they would own that player. You don't have to do that anymore if you want to bring a player up to your roster and then send them back to your practice squad. That's what had to happen before. Robert Foster's rookie season, he was subjected to waiver a few times. Uh, he was brought up to the active roster. They waived him. Nobody picked him up. He went back down to the practice squad. They brought him back up again. They waived him again, back down to the practice squad. Now, under these new rules, you can actually bring up a player from the practice squad to your 52, 53-man roster. You can bring up the player two times without subjecting them to waivers right crazy so you could actually activate players from your practice squad to be ready to play in a game and then send them back down to the practice squad afterwards and not lose that player like you would have had before where you they would go to waivers and anybody could claim them the rules are changing for 2020 and I cannot think of a better general manager to have in charge than Brandon Bean to manage all this. Because you're looking at players like Isaiah McKenzie. Probably he's going to get cut. But Isaiah McKenzie may end up on a practice squad because he's useful to the Bills, but not maybe not necessarily useful to other organizations. He's a player that would not have practice squad eligibility, but now will. Isaiah McKenzie is going to back up Andre Roberts. Maybe Andre Roberts makes the team because you know that, uh, that Isaiah McKenzie is not getting signed anywhere. You'll have him on the practice squad if you do need him. So if Roberts gets injured, you've got a player in the fold, veteran, been on your team for a while. You can bring him to the active roster now at this point fascinating stuff guys i know this is kind of nerdy but this is something to really get excited about if you've got faith in this team and in this general manager then putting more bullets in the gun is just going to make them more dangerous and it makes me excited for 2020 so thanks again for sticking around with hashtag sports my name is paul if you've never been here before hit that subscribe button we're posting up content as much as possible and i will talk to you guys soon have a good one